I am glad to report that we begin to round off in office. We can genuinely say that our administration has rescued Ajakuta from all legal disabilities, and it is now ready to, for concessioning to a private investor with the right profiles to put it to work for Nigeria in general and Kogi State in particular. <laughs> the process has cost this federal government over 400 million United States dollars so far. But I consider it many money well spent as we move closer to achieving our objective of transforming Kogi State into Nigeria's iron and steel powerhouse. <laughs> the benefits of getting Ajakuta steel complex working again are numerous. It will provide over 500,000 estimated jobs and more than 1.6 billion United States dollars in annual income to the Nigerian economy. I will not fail to appreciate all that you have done for us. You he just mentioned one, which is the payment of the debt owed to the past concessionaire of Ajayakuta Steel Rolling Mill. No nation can boast of any industrialization and development without iron and steel. And you have commissioned that, and by the grace of God, we are confident that you are going to ensure that that Ajayakuta Steel Rolling Mill is up and running before the expiration of our time. We thank you for the various other projects, the Itapewari Railway, that you have put us to use today. Our people are no longer afraid of all these menace on the road. If they want to go to the south-south and part of southeast, they make use of the railroad and the ongoing road projects that are going on in Kogi State, Your Excellency, we thank you.